identifying Dr. Samuel Edwards. Warning, security breach detected. Sierra, get me out of here! Now that Dead Space, the Callisto Protocol and more of those newly released horror games are out in the wild and everyone has played them, this game right here is the one that I'm waiting on and that a lot more people should know about. It currently doesn't have a massive fan base behind it and I'm still really wondering why because it has such immense potential and in my opinion it'll definitely blow up when it's released to the public. This is Negative Atmosphere and this project right here is looking and sounding like one of the most atmospheric horror shooter that I have seen yet and with reasons, because these devs have been intensely working on bringing the most detailed and intense audio slash sound effect experience that we've ever heard with rooms, each stations and each enemy sounding different and terrifying. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get through here. Warning, drug reservoir empty. Of course recently they haven't simply worked on the audio but the overall environments, the gameplay features, the dismemberment, the weapons we'll have in game, the different enemies and more. So let's get into it right away. Okay so before we get into these exciting details in a second, here's what Negative Atmosphere is truly about in a short description. It is a third person over the shoulder survival horror game dedicated to dread, tension and trauma. Trapped aboard the void ship TRH Rizanov, Samuel Edwards must evade, fight and kill his former crewmates as an outbreak transformed them into unique monsters. There is only one way out and an entire ship to cross. Explore the depths of the Ruzanov, pull whatever resources you can out of its guts and run, but Edwards also has a confident, in-depth understanding of medicinal drugs. Routine medication can be repurposed for more creative ideas or transformed into something more extreme. Whether attempting to save the injured, influence enemies or alter himself, Samuel's medical knowledge will be key to a survival against an absolute ton of enemies made of flesh and of softwares as well with unstable robots. What's really cool about this game is that it intends on being the most realistic experience possible. For example, there will be no traditional elf bar as they intend to make all HOD elements as diegetic as possible. Edward's elf will be displayed through character model cues so as damage increases he starts to limp, the suit shows damage, briefing becomes labored and etc. So you really won't see much on your screen, but will actually have to rely on what's going on with the character and what's around him. I'm tired of all these pop-ups and notifications in games that says that I need to go there and that my elf is low and press this button to heal. I really want to learn by myself and this game knows it. The devs have also planned a ton of enemies, which a lot of them will be revealed later on in a new reveal, but they're keeping most of it very secretive for now as they want to surprise people later on. There are 15 plus enemies enemies planned, but to avoid spoilers, they are avoiding revealing the majority of them. The stealth worker though has been shown in the official trailer and provides a solid benchmark of the horrors aboard Ruzanov. There will be different monsters, each with their own attacks and behaviors, so you'll have to be extra careful with each of them on how you approach different situations. There's also robots as well. For now, they have 10 plus weapons planned and while they do have some conventional firearms, Edward's ingenuity will give way to some makeshift weapons weapons and tools for brutal efficiency. Edwards, the main character, also has beliefs, past experiences and coping mechanisms that players will learn throughout this game. This means that morality is not just about what you want as a player, as every decision will have an effect on Edwards. Learning his values is extremely important. Working with them or against them will affect Samuel's mental state and change how he reacts to different events. You're not just playing a character, you're living through it and every situation will bring different realistic reactions. There is so much to this game yet it seems that I haven't seen much of it yet. All the gameplay trailers that we've seen do look awesome and shows what it's all about but there is still a bunch of things that I can hope we will see soon like the different enemies, the weapons, the gore and dismemberment system, the different missions, something as simple as a non-edited extended gameplay that shows us everything we need to know. For now I'm really excited about this game even though it is an indie game because yes it's not a double A nor a triple A game, even though it's an indie game, it really looks promising, like even more than the Callisto Protocol, which failed a little bit with people's expectations, and even though it was the creators of Dead Space, it really, it really wasn't the game that people were expecting, so now I'm really excited for this new horror game. Like this video right now for more on this game and subscribe to stay tuned.